Welcome back, guys. I'm Tony Hansen, joined by Vin B and Dan Isgro. And today we're looking at Spyfall on Tabletopia.com. Tabletopia is a great place to play thousands of board games virtually online anywhere in the world with anyone. It's a lot of fun. Guys, let's take a look at the 3D interface before we start and get into the game. Uh, if you look at it, it is a 3D interface and it is very easy to use. You can circle it around, you can rotate, you can zoom in. It's again, it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty intuitive. Um, let's say this is a spot in the map that you want to look at later, perhaps where the points are calculated. You have, actually have a way to save the camera view. Here's how you do it. You press shift and press a number. I'll just guess five for now. Shift five. You'll notice the camera saved on that. If later in the game I'm somewhere else and I want to run back to that really quickly, I can go up to it and then press five. I go right back to the view. Very easy. And finally, for um, for playing with other players, the way you're going to interact with them and the way you're going to communicate with them, you have the video interface, which is located at the bottom right-hand side of the screen. You'll see me and Vin waving right down there. And uh, you also have audio interface as well as the text chat uh, included so that you have multiple ways to communicate. It's pretty easy. Let's go to Vin right now. He's going to take us through the fun world of Spyfall. So Spyfall is a great little party game. And I'm going to state right off the bat, Obviously, you have a lot of advantages playing this digitally that you don't have in the physical version, one of which is right here in this interface. In the regular version of the game, there's the locations that are out there, and the manual, you only have one manual, and everybody has to sort of hog it and take a look at it. And one of the things they tell you in the rules is don't take a look as the spy at the middle section of the manual that has all of the, the locations out there because you're going to give yourself away. So as Tony was talking about before, in this interface, you have all the locations right here, easy to reference, and nobody knows, nobody's any the wiser that you're looking at the locations. Next up on here is the cards. So on the top of the screen, you have a, a three by four grid of decks of cards. Everything's set up for you automatically, obviously hidden, so everybody can take their cards, their roll cards, and put them right into their hands. So it's a nice feature because now, you never have to accidentally give away your card and your role if you're the spy or if you're not the spy. And as Tony shows, if you double click on the card, you can take a closer look at it and see, for instance, that now we're operating in the military base and Tony's the colonel. So when he's asking the questions to try to figure out who's the spy, again, you're not giving away your role. It's very easy and nice to, to play. Additionally, on the in the interface here, additionally, you have the ability to, to use some tokens to denote some things. You obviously have the spy or no spy tokens for the votes, the finger tokens to accuse somebody, and you can do the votes there. When you're playing Spyfall and you'd like to keep track of your score, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there, there are score tokens. And if you'd like to adjust those tokens, it's very easy on Tabletopia. You just hover your cursor over the score token and press the space bar and you can increase or decrease your score by increments of 1, 10, or 100. You also have the option to hover your cursor over the scorekeeper and use your mouse wheel to increase or decrease your score as well. Real straightforward, guys. Real easy to use. And that is it. That is Spyfall on Tabletopia.com. Guys, check it out. For Audio Dungeon, I'm Tony Hansen, joined by Dan and Vin, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.